supposing we have a fluid in this case I'm going to take as an example water okay this is the surface of a lake and this is water and let's take an object and put it on the lake it sinks or it may float whatever it is there are two forces acting on it so let me draw let's say it's a block of wood which is floating a block of wood let us say it is floating if it is floating it's neither accelerating up nor is accelerating down so the net force on it must be zero what are the forces acting on it one is the weight w and the other is the force exerted by the surrounding liquid and that is called the buoyancy buoyancy is the force exerted by the surrounding liquid in a direction opposite to gravity now we have a formula for the weight of an object what's the formula the weight is mass times acceleration due to gravity mg we need a formula for buoyancy that formula was given by Archimedes Archimedes taught us how to calculate the buoyancy force produced by a fluid on any object to understand the buoyancy formula first thing you need to understand this take a look at this solid okay now a fraction f of the solid is submerged and a fraction 1 minus f is above the surface of the liquid so if the total volume of the object is v f times v is the volume that is submerged that is under the surface of the fluid let me repeat that f is the fraction of the volume that is submerged f times v is that amount of liquid that has been displaced what does that mean when the solid was not there this volume f times v was occupied by the fluid by putting the solid there that's the volume of liquid that has been displaced so Archimedes used the expression liquid displaced or fluid displaced this is very important you must understand what that means it is the fraction of the volume that is submerged now the mass of this amount of water that has been displaced this is the volume of the water that's been displaced remember you should not get confused v is the volume of the solid but f times v is the volume of the liquid that's been displaced multiplied by the density of water gives me the mass of the liquid displaced multiplied by g gives me the weight of the liquid displaced according to mr archimedes the weight of the liquid displaced is equal to the buoyancy force this is the formula that archimedes taught us so archimedes told us that the buoyancy force produced by a fluid on an object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced that is the formula okay now I started by saying let's take a block of wood which is floating now the buoyancy formula holds whether the object is sinking or floating or whatever let me explain this as the object displaces the fluid there is a buoyancy force if the buoyancy force is greater than the weight it will accelerate upwards for example you take a piece of uh, styrofoam and press it into the water and release it it will come shooting up that's because the buoyancy force is greater than the weight if you take a piece of stone and drop it into the lake it will accelerate downwards because the weight is more than the buoyancy on the other hand if it is floating the weight is exactly equal to the buoyancy is that clear so let's do a problem where a block of wood is floating right let's do this so let me raise this and redraw the following supposing we have a block of wood 
and its density is let us say 600 kilograms per cubic meter in other words I am going to introduce a new concept relative density relative density is the density of the object divided by density of pure water now density of water is 1 gram per cc which is the same thing as 1000 kilograms per cubic meter you do the conversion yourself you'll figure it out 1000 kilograms per cubic meter the density of the wood is 600 kilograms per cubic meter so the relative density of this piece of wood let's say is 0 0.6 which means the density is 0.6 times density of water all right so we take this block of wood and put, drop it on the lake it comes to equilibrium after bobbing around for a little while and when it is in equilibrium the net force on it is zero which means the upward buoyancy force is equal to the weight the question we are trying to answer is what fraction of the volume is submerged that is the question right let's do the equations the weight is mg let me erase this so I can write it out here so buoyancy is equal to weight and what is buoyancy listen again very carefully it's the weight of the liquid displaced what fraction of the volume is submerged F F is the fraction of the volume submerged so what is the total volume of the liquid displaced F times V this is the volume of the liquid displaced multiplied by density of water gives me the mass of the liquid displaced multiplied by G gives me the weight of the liquid displaced that is buoyancy that's equal to the weight of the object the weight of the object is total volume of the object obviously multiplied by density of object that gives me the mass of the object multiplied by G there we go V and G cancel and what do we get F is equal to density of the object divided by <coughs> density of water and what is that that is 0 0.6 the relative density which means a fraction 0 0.6 60 percent of the solid is submerged 40 percent is above okay this is how you solve a simple Archimedes problem so if you're talking about pure water something floating in water if you give me an object whose relative density is 0 0.7 it will float with 70 percent underwater when I get into a swimming pool and I try to float I can barely keep my nose out of the water in other words I managed to float but almost fully submerged that means the fraction underwater is almost one that means my density relative density is almost one what does that mean it means my average density is practically the density of water not surprising because I'm about 70 75 percent water the rest is hot air just kidding okay Thank you.